Ornin, and I'm ready to be back in the muck of it. This is John Numbers versus Sinji. I have been waiting for this. <laughs> all right. Okay, <laughs> so John Numbers versus Sinji. This is some, an age old match going all the way back to Smash 4. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, grab a snack. Uh, get yourself some water. Get a stretch in. We're going to be here a while. No, don't even blink because honestly, unironically, every <laughs> moment in this match matters because this is a matchup where the percent difference is paramount. And that means that a singular hit in another game, you know, in King Arc versus Sinji, or sorry, King Arc versus, you know, Audi, a single hit, unless it led to a big combo, wouldn't necessarily oh be that much. Oh, good. But, the schnicks. Oh, in this game, the fact that right now, Sinji has a slight percent lead means that uh, means that numbers is the one forced to approach. And I think one of the things, and I, and I just, uh, obviously this is a matchup that we all know too well and has its reputation that it does, but goodness, there are certainly a absurd amount of wacky interactions that make this uh, matchup between these two players worth watching. And um, again, as you mentioned, this is something that very often goes to time. This is something that very often can be uh, a battle uh, of wits uh, in this slow place game, and um, every little bit of percent matters. And John, with that every little bit of percent matters, can heal percent. And as can Sinji actually in this matchup, if he side bees the uh, sun, he can heal it that way. So yes. that is that is one thing that Sinji can do as and well. And also, if he, it's a very good spacing, he can side be the uh, the soccer ball. Yes. Um, and those, those of you who don't know, the side B, he drops the pellet and then can yeah. eat it. To, right. it. It's a tiny little benefit, and it's something you see Sinji actually do a lot to just block projectile hits. Ooh. Oh, I like that high recovery. Yeah, but and one of the interesting things you can do with that side B is you can immediately fast fall out of it, which is kind of difficult to uh, cover. It's a really awkward angle for a lot of characters. And the bell's still in hand. Z-drop? Uh, no, uh, just throws it out of shield. That's going to be it. John loses stock number one. Sinji looking very good so far, being put into a situation where he has the stock lead and is not really at kill percent just yet from Weefa Trainer. Yeah, and that means we're going to be Sinji play to that. We're going to see him play to that stock lead for sure. Oh, immediately. I like that. Just getting as much damage as he can can off the combo. A two-hit forward air into key was 29%, and 29% is massive, especially considering the lead that Sinji already has at this exact moment. Uh, okay, okay, John. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, Sinji so far has looked incredibly good. Um, the defensive options coming out from Sinji have been excellent. Those rolls and spot dodges this is that we've seen have been so excellently timed um, to deal with what John has been throwing out. And that orange honestly does a great job of stuffing the, um, I didn't realize how good a job it does at stuffing the soccer ball. Man, it's, this is the sort of thing where the fact that he's using orange to such yep. effect shows how you know Sinji, as a player, has just mastered every single tool this character has. Oh my gosh. Ooh, looking Ooh. for the water boost there. However, Hydrant not breaking. That would have been pretty big for Sinji. He got a lot of percent and maybe even taking a stock on a stage like Town and City with just a small blast one off the side. Yeah. Now, one of the things worth noting is that one of the so the reason why this match can kind of at times be a little bit of a grind is because of the disadvantage state for both of these characters. I think Pac-Man has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. Hydrant and is so good. Hydrant is so good. Not only that, he has like a frame three nair, mm -hmm. I believe, has all sorts of wonderful options. To oh. Just like oh. That Manic. being said, John Numbers and Weefa Trainer in advantage state, uh, big damage, large damage. And we've seen that um, so far. Omelette du dommage. <laughs> uh, Omelette du dommage, yeah, that, or damage. Crazy. Oh, um, oh, 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 where are you going? Yeah, John doing an excellent job of saving the jump there, uh, knowing that he was going to be able to go underneath the stage and then back up. Weaver Trainer's recovery also very good. And even though Weaver Trainer at times can struggle with disadvantage, um, Weaver Trainer has her own options to stall and be reversed and get out of the way um, while in disadvantage. And now we've seen, despite a huge lead by Sinji in that first stock, Numbers reverses it immediately and takes the lead himself. And that's the thing about this matchup is that it's uh, among all of these sort of like, oh, there's going to be a timeout, that doesn't necessarily mean that the person in the lead has it in the bag. No. You still see the way that these, these two have played against each other so much. They know each other's options and they know the ways to make comebacks mm. happen. And right now, Sinji's the one who has to engineer a comeback as, you know, there's less than three minutes on the clock, so we're most likely not going to be Ooh. seeing a timeout. But... If Numbers wants to, he could just not engage. That was a supercharged strawberry right there. Charged by the water. Crazy. However, we, we've seen, I think, oh my gosh. Ooh. That was so much option coverage by Sinji, and John just waited it all out. So good from him. And we've seen now uh, Numbers has started to kind of get a understanding of when Sinji is going to hire it and starts throwing out those. Really? Okay, I was about to say. Uh, uh <laughs> I think the Hydra may have actually saved Sinji there. Um, forward throw still not going to be enough. No deep breathing coming out from John. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, 
takes his time. But this is the sort of thing where now the timer is relevant because if you are numbers, if you want to, you can just not engage for two minutes. And Sinji knows that. Sinji has to make something work. Ooh. <gasps> Knowing the spot that's going to come out, John runs through Sinji and gets that F-tilt out. Still not enough just yet. Uh, however, John in a great situation. Deep breathing is going to be huge here for John. Um, he now has access to a kill throw. Yes, he does. F throw. Ooh, no. and looking for is John. So smart. Oh, apple combos. Apple is actually a uh, kind of a tricky combo fruit. Uh, unknown really compared to like, uh, you know, Galaxian, Bell, <laughs> Key. Sinji is able to just barely Ooh. avoid all these hits. He's still alive at the moment, but at 171%. <gasps> He's avoiding all of these hits just barely. <sighs> 68%. That's not quite enough for a meaningful death. You know, numbers has, doesn't have to be worried about that. I mean, we're getting dangerously close, however, to that Bell F smash percent. We're uh, also getting dangerously low to, low to the one minute left mark. Uh, we certainly are, and we're almost getting close to a soccer ball taking the stock. Cherry stuffing out soccer ball there. And Cherry also putting John. Oh my, oh my god. The fact that Sinji has not been hit by one of these hydrants, but there it is. With 49 seconds on the clock. The reaction walks. to the neutral getup, and an yep. excellent job by John. Ooh. Yeah, 50 seconds left on the clock. That's about how we expected that to go. Doesn't always have to end oh, in the timeout. What are you talking about? No, it's, That's <laughs> I, I, I was still expecting that to go to time. At the very least, like, 196 I'm is tough. But <laughs> the, we were getting to the point where Weaver Channel was going to start being able to kill with just normal grabs. So, oh, not, I think not, we're already at that yeah, point. Yeah, I think uh, certainly at ledge. Up throw, I think. Up throw is not a kill throw in this game. I found that out. Yeah. Ooh. I'm bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah, John told me that's like, oh, yeah, it's not a kill throw in this game. I'm like, yeah, because it wasn't Smash 4. Um, but now it's just F throw at ledge. So, um, but yes, we're going to be seeing, once again, Sinji versus John Numbers. Where are we going? I imagine it's a flat stage. Oh, I am dreadfully wrong. We're on Lilac Cruise. I like The this. opposite I'm of a flat stage. I'm surprised it was not banned. Yeah. Uh, the number one reason for this is that those sun salutations, given the tilt, uh, might be a little bit trickier to land more consistently. If John Numbers is in the corner and he throws out a sun, I think it would probably collide with the main part of the stage. Yeah. Uh, similarly, though, the... the, the yeah. Uh, similarly, though, Pac-Man um, is actually uh, able to... Um, Pac-Man is, is actually able to um, catch those fruits on the tilt of the stage, as well as, um, you know, put himself in situations where Reaper Trainer can't really hit him from a distance without using Soccer Ball, which certainly is a commitment from John. In this uh, game, we're already seeing a little bit of a slower pace than we were in game number one. Sinji was kind of, I think, running at John a little bit, maybe something that John wasn't necessarily prepared for at the beginning of stock number one. Um, however, this has been a little bit more uh, slovenly played by both players. I mean, the other thing that I'd say about it is that, considering we're on this stage, Sinji is more focused on doing his setups. You know, charging the fruit, getting it where he needs, wants it. That oh. is a fortunate uh, placement of the uppie by Sinji. Ooh. Charging that F-Smash, that's gotta be uh, not even a punish, wow. Yeah, and um, I think John maybe was, was, was wary of throwing out a soccer ball there. This is a scary situation. Sinji flickers the shield, waiting for, I imagine, a back air trying to get a parry. Um, and John does not bite. John says, I'm going to sit in my shield, so please grab me or don't do not do anything at all. <laughs> grab me or get out. <laughs> yes. Oh, good job. Just getting that little bit of a oh, hit wow. and still has the bell in hand. That should be it. Yes. yes. And at a, the two-minute mark, Sinji takes stock number one. Oh, I can see why Sinji also counterpicks to the stage. You can catch those fruit off the side. Uh, even though uh, Lilac's lip is very small, it is a flat lip nonetheless and does allow Pac-Man to recatch fruit. Oh, man, just how much shield damage oh my that gosh. smash did. That was so smart going for the grab, knowing that the, that the Hydrant was causing a hitbox that he couldn't mm -hmm. really contest with. Just smart awareness from Sinji, and now he's in stage control and has 
basically that pace control as well, given that oh, he has a stock lead and able to do already 62% on the numbers. Although this is kind of similar to what we saw in game one, and we all remember how that ended. Yeah, uh, we are seeing some situation here. Uh, John does have to get the stock, and certainly on Sinji's counter pick, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Nice, wow, excellent uh, recognition there by John. Knowing that Sinji was kind of out of resources to recover without being able to fast fall, and John says, okay, well, show me the air dodge. Sinji shows it, get S tells him immediately. Oh, that up tilt, that's a, a not a very commonly seen move from Wii Fit, but John Number is able to use it as an anti-air option, especially at the ledge like that. Ooh, and Sinji looking for that water push there to help him out on that down throw conversion. Um, and we've seen so far, um, you know, kind of a similar situation to what we saw in game number one. Uh, a little bit of a comeback here from John. And John, what I've noticed is instead of going into the corner, John has started to now hold center stage. And that has been significantly more difficult for Sinji to deal with in a frame trap oh. coming up from John. Gorgeous. The little bit of aggression there. Drifting forward with the first fair. Soccer ball forcing out another air dodge. And then forward airing again with deep breathing, ending Pac-Man stock. Oh, I like that down air out of shield. But at this point, Sinji needs to make this kill happen really quick. And, ooh, and the rollback there. And we're seeing right there, Lila didn't actually eat up the, the sun, despite the fact that John was at the furthest point of the lip of the stage. And Sinji, now keeping center stage, has a little bit of advantage. But now John has forced Sinji to the platform and has already gotten 44%. That is huge in a game like this. Oh, 70 just like that, and I, that's a strange interaction. Yeah, no, Weaver Chain are fully invincible on that move. No, I'm surprised um, to destroy the, ha the, the, the yeah. Hydrant. Has to do 16, or 16, something like 16%. 6 oh, not quite enough there. But, um, interesting, maybe it was a clink from the Hydrant and up smash rather than a, uh, the, the up smash hitting the, oh! <laughs> All right, now this is very similar Speaking to what of we interactions. saw. Yeah, very similar to what we saw in that game one. Sinji down by quite a bit. A little bit less so than last time, and he did make a good show of it. But at this point, that's a deep breathing we fit he has to be worried about. And also, you have to keep in mind the time. Two minutes left on the clock. Yes, and so once again, it's a scary situation. John has the clock to play with, does not need to play aggro here. However, we saw when he was not playing aggro, Sinji was kind of doing an excellent job of um, keeping John in the corner and forcing options. And John is stretching. Very nice. <laughs> I mean, listen, he's not doing anything because he is making the statement of there's 140 left on the clock and yeah. you need to do something. No, John and John is absolutely right here. John does, can, can heal to his heart's content and wait until Sinji forces us something that is truly <laughs> scary. John, however, that little bit of aggression saying, Sinji, you're going to shield right now. Nice. That Sinji was most certainly not thinking of DIing that way and still somehow managed to survive. <gasps> oh, that was a really big hit. Oh. Okay. Wow, turn around grab. Being put off stage, scary situation, no jump. Ooh, oh, did, oh. wow, John preserved the jump that whole time. That is crazy. However, once again, we are now in bell percent once more. Okay, so since you can't don't have the bell on deck though. No, not yet. Is that not, not going to be enough? Oh, when he got deep breathing, meaning that. Oh, the beautiful oh. tech from Sinji. Surprise. Oh, ah, and catching the roll back. Once again, I think it was actually the exact same time as last set, or last game. 52 seconds left. Uh, and John takes it with an F tilt yet again, but the back at this time on a roll read. Excellent job by John Numbers. And that is going to be the end of that set. Numbers moves on to winner's uh, quarters. And this was an excellent read by John, uh, kind of recognizing that Sinji... That was winner's quarters. He's in the winner's semis Or winner's semis now. Winner's semis, my fault. Um, yeah. the, the recognition by John, uh, knowing that after Sinji air dodged to the floor, he was going to be scared and reads the roll back, gets that backer there. An excellent job yeah. by John. I also want to, I'm not sure how uh, how much we far we go back. I want to take a look at this, this whole offstage Oh, Pac-Man has no hands. Here. Hold up. What? <laughs> Pac-Man had no hands. Pac-Man was a ball for a split, split second. Look at that. That's Just surprising, because uh, it has the little red circle. This game is, is weird. No, so it's the red circle, but not the red sparks. I have made this mistake before. Uh, is that not how that works? Is it like a pink circle and not a red circle? It's yellow sparks there. Blue. There it is. Yeah, the but blue now sparks. it changed to blue. It's blue. But sparks. it was red. Okay. No, those are the sparks. <laughs> what you saw is the red impact, but it's blue sparks. I know. Uh, but yeah, he gets the. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to take a look at this. Look at that. Oh, my God. Text it and then immediately goes in for that. The up B there. Yeah. It's such a strange offstage interaction. Just great adapt. Just great awareness from Sinji in order to keep himself alive right there. And a great job by John to take the set. Um, yep. And we are back here again at Xeno 205. We are in winner semis now. King Arc versus Vivi is coming up for you very soon. Lucario versus Mega Man coming up.